gonna pay your bills. Uh, Ain't got no job. Can, I mean, just everything. Turn it upside down. I come to let somebody know it is only a test. Uh -huh. Don't focus on what you do, don't have, but focus on what you do have. Right. I've had to learn Pastor Hawkins that whether Pusha, I got a Mercedes Benz or a Yugo, all that car don't do is get me from point A to point B. Amen. And you know you probably won't pay for fifty dollars a month as opposed to the uh, Mercedes you probably made for fifty dollars a month. It don't matter to me what I'm trying to get y'all to see. It ain't about material things. No. This thing is real. I didn't have it in town with God, y'all. This thing is real. We get so caught up in stuff. We ball out about stuff. We talk about each other about stuff. We run up and down the street. You don't know what Joe doing in his house to have what Joe had. It's only by the grace of God that Joe got. We need to quit focusing on stuff and put our eyes on God. This stuff sometimes is going to cause us to lose our relationship with God. Now, I don't want you, I want you to understand what I'm saying. God will bless us with nice things, and that's okay. But where the problem comes in is when you put them nice things before God. The same God that gave it to you will be the same one that snatched it away from you. And then when he's, sometimes when he's taught me is this, a lot of the things that I'm in now, sure, when I was getting in it, I didn't ask to know. But now I got myself stuck in the middle of it. Lord, can you please help me out? He's like, no. You're going to learn something from this. I'm trying to stop somebody. You have to learn from it. Do not do anything unless you seek the Lord. That's right. Get your focus off your stuff. Put your eye on God. The church at Smyrna, when the vision came to the church at Smyrna, I was thinking they rich, Lord. But I was like the world thinking, monetary rich. They were spiritually rich. I don't know about nobody else in here, but I'd rather have Jesus. And that's enough for me. Yes, I go through trials and tribulations. Push it get hard sometimes. It get hard, Virginia. When I want to just fall out and fall out and just ah, give up. But that still small voice inside me. Be still bad. I got this. If y'all don't get nothing else from what I'm trying to say, is trials and tribulations coming, sufferings is coming, but it's a few things that we need not do. First of all, we need not lose our hope. All right. Is there anybody in here that has hope? I have hope. Don't ever lose your hope. No matter what comes upon us, don't lose your hope. For if you lose your hope, your faith ain't too far behind. And once you lose your faith, fear will kick in and consume you. When you lose, when we lose hope, Jerry, it's like you know, turn on ills. It's slow, but sure, eats away in our body until it's not the left. And we're dead. When I think about somebody losing hope, I think about the actor, Robin Williams. He had millions. He was paid millions to make people laugh. Yet, he wasn't happy. He struggled with drug and alcohol abuse, depression, and he recently he got diagnosed with that uh, Parkinson's disease. I, I can only imagine what he was thinking. He was like, probably, I'm already hooked on these drugs. I'm already hooked on this alcohol. I had to have all bankruptcy. And now they're going to tell me that I got Parkinson? It was a perfect storm brewing inside him. And in that perfect storm, at one instant, he took his eye off God. And he lost hope. And death was the end of Hold on to your hope. What I'm learning is it don't matter how it looks. God can change this thing in an instant. The thing about God that I'm learning is this. If you go over and show and everything Job had to endure 
God will let us down. Bad things are going to happen to good people. Amen. I take my mind back to October the 25th, 2013. That was when I got the call that my sister had died unexpectedly. It literally knocked the wind out of me. It literally took me to my knees. It literally made me lose hope. I said, God, how could you? Why you didn't let me know? God said, because you couldn't have done nothing anyway. I thank God that I had praying positive people around me that when I had that falling out spell, they was there to break me through it. Yeah. I thank God for my spiritual children that God has placed all around me because when I wanted to go down and I was going down quickly, they would always call or come around. Never even realized how God was really using them. The church at Smyrna could have lost that hope. With everything that this church was going through, we see they had wicked leaders that didn't believe in God, that didn't believe in Christian people. We got the same thing going on today. As a matter of fact, you can't hardly mention God out in public. Nowhere. People get so offended. Offended for what? Because if you was doing the right thing, it would It only offends the people that's doing wrong. And I started to notice that. But the thing about this church could have lost their hope. And y'all think about it. They had lost jobs. They couldn't find no jobs. They had lost their properties. They had lost, some was put in jail. And some had even lost their life because of their belief. The church at Serena reminds me of us today. God leaves some of the stuff that we go through with literally not the wind out of us. And God, what I'm learning to do is not focus on it, but focus on God. Now what is hope? Hope is a feeling of, ex, of ex, expectation and desire. With hope, you can awaken a dream that has laid dormant in you for years. With hope, you can move your heart from despair to expectancy. With hope, it is like medicine to the soul. Yeah. Hope is that God would do just what he said all right. All right. he would do. God never promised us that it would be easy, but he promised us that he would leave. Yeah. Romans 8 and 28 says, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Yeah. Every one of us are called for something right. and we're going to go through Something you are called for its purpose. When, when I'm going back to my sister because when after everything cleared and God really showed me what was going on, He said, "I made you for this. Yeah. Everything you need, you got already inside of you. Uh -huh. What you got to realize is this: things are going to happen in some time that we may not ever understand. Right. <laughs> and that was one of the things in my life thus far that has happened that I just couldn't understand. But He put it plenty. She was here for all that time. Right. It was nothing. Nobody could have been. If the best doctor in the world right. had been right there to save her life for her. It was her sunset day. She had to leave me. She had to leave us October 25th, 2013. But I made a job. I got damn. Sometimes I was like that woman with the issue of blood. And I was like, Lord, I just can't take this. I can't do it no more. I know, and I, when I got to my lowest, a low, a low, where I just wanted to fall out and have a temper tantrum. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not going to sugarcoat this thing. It was hard for me. But God, I took my eye off of that and started saying, God, what you want? What do, what do you need me to do? Yeah. He would lead me to certain scriptures that were calm that inner man on the inside. That's what's going on now. We're walking around in our flesh. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was allowing me to say because I was all, I, when I was in the world, I was a drama queen. Oh, you think I got saved and not a drama queen no more? No, I still is. <laughs> so that's, what he, that's what he made me to be. But he's learning, he's teaching me how to calm that sister down sometimes because that sister don't need to show up a lot of the times. But don't ever lose your hope. Don't lose your hope. 
trials and tribulations, y'all hear me good. You're going to have to go through some stuff. Yes. Look what Jesus went through with. We know better than him. The thing about it, we look worse because he was sinless. We're not. We're not sinless. We sin every day as a matter of fact. But yet, he shows his mercy every day. I want each and every one of you to know that when the trials of life hit you like a tsunami, Yes. Go down on your knees. Okay. Lord, help me. Okay. We need help. Me and we need help. Yes. Me and we need help. Yes. Me and we need help. Yes. Because it's an order. This thing got to go. Yes. If you're married and got a wife, you are the covering for your wife and your children. <laughs> you got to pray together. You got to work your way through a lot of adversity, a lot of trials, tribulations, troubles, and sufferings. At, at the hand, because just because you believe God, uh -huh. I believe you, Shepherd. Lord have mercy, it don't even matter what I have to go through with. I believe just what He said. Of course, He said He was going to do it. I believe it. Madonna, I don't know when, but I believe it. Y'all got to believe it. And remember that there is hope in God. In order for us to get to where God needs us to be at, uh -huh. The trials that's coming. Yeah. That's right. The trials of life. I go back to Job. Mm -hmm. I don't think none of us could take all of that he went through with. Mm -hmm. Good day. He lost ten children yes. at one time. Mm -hmm. Ten. He lost. He broke out with them big bowls from his head. Lord, I get a little pimple and go in the streets. <laughs> I can't imagine having boils from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. But what Job didn't do, he didn't lose his hope. He kept that hope and he kept that faith. Hebrews 11 and 1 said, Now faith is the substance of thank God. Do it is not sin. Faith is the only thing faith is, Sharon, is walking around blind, believe in God. That's what I need to walk around and go, believe in God. I'm walking around, can't see a lick. But Lord, you said, all you gotta do, we gotta learn to put God's word back on Him. That's right. That's right. And quit being such wimpy saints and sensitive saints. You understand what I'm saying? God built, God made man. He made it. But let me tell you how he put the woman together. Sharon, let me tell you how he put this woman together. He stretched that man out and put him to sleep. And he cut him out. And he took that real bone out. What y'all don't know about the real bone? The real bone is the only bone in the body that can regenerate. Look, we keep on taking it. Weebly and Wobbly. You know what? Weebly. Y'all remember when Michael Jackson had this smooth criminal video and he got laid on the floor. That's how he gets it. But the palm tree. You know why I go turn the palm tree down? Because right. it's a baby. It's just like that. When? We a baby. We a baby. We a baby. Not putting you on. We a baby. But we are. Because we made from that bone. And what makes it so bad? The rib cage bone is protected. We protect all the vital organs in the body. We made it from the
When I act like a drama queen, he won't play with me, but I need somebody to play with me. <laughs> So just know that there is hope for the hopeless. Just trust God. Believe Him when He said it. It might not look good right now, but the God that you serve can change things in an instant. But the only thing that activates God is faith. You can cry and fall out on the floor, have all the temper tantrums we want to. 
The only thing going to happen, you gonna, if you're uh, healthy and uh, full figure like me, you're going to be hurting in the chest. And I swear, I'm trying to learn to have faith. I got tired of doing all that crap. Doing all that crap. I said, oh my God, I can't do that. I got to trust you. There come a point in our life. No matter how young you are, you will have to trust them. Because mom and dad is not going to have all the answers. I pray for our students that go out to college. We ought to be a covering for our kids. We don't know what our kids is going to encounter once they get on these campuses. I plead the blood over them. Yes. But I say this to say this, and I'm finished. Keep the hope. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Keep the faith. LaDonna, I'm going to try to sing this song. If I go down, baby, you probably have to hit me. But I might go down quick. <laughs> what is this? Got me feeling so good right now. Right. 